good morning welcome back to mac ventures it's been a long time but we are actually on the road we are currently in france um in rachon or um r-a-c-h-o-n um which is near the border of switzerland so another three hours four hours drive we'll be in switzerland yes we're going to randa and then we'll be staying in a lovely like flat apartment and we'll be able to visit Zermatt and Tash, um, which we're so excited about. We were meant to be going last year, but with COVID and the price of tests and all the restrictions, it was just far too complicated and expensive. So we postponed it. It's coming to Easter holidays and we stayed overnight in a little campsite. And this is the view. I would imagine in the summer it's beautiful, but there's the van all packed up, ready for another journey but what a lovely spot it was so hopefully i'll get to do some more videoing today and take you along on our trip Vignette. They didn't even ask to see our passports. We are currently in um, Switzerland, um, just on the motorway on by Le Cern. Um, stopped at the services, local spa, with a view. Look at that. I'll show you properly now, I'll turn the camera around. And that's the lake underneath. And we've arrived. This is our apartment that we'll be staying in in Randa. And then we'll catch trains then into Zermatt, but we'll show you around. Is that the dinky oh, shower? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had heard about the shower being a bit short. What's your head? It's because of the platform. If it was that, it'd be alright. <laughs> oh, this is so lush. That's wardrobes. That's a so heater. Easy. That's a radiator. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. That's mine and Mark's bedroom in there. And outside we've got a lovely patio with a view. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. On our way now into Zermatt, we bought a five day train pass which cost us £700 for the four of us but they are well worth it because it includes 
your cable cars and the other trains and up to Glacier Paradise as well. Um, Levi was half price, being a child, but um, Evan being over 16 was an adult. Our long-awaited trip to Zermatt has finally come to realization. And you just about to see the touch like tip. Mm. It's actually quite quiet here. This piece is wonderful. And there's the Matterhorn Museum. Gosh, that's a big step down. What do you think they're looking at? What could it be? So we're now on the train from Zermatt up to Gornagrat, which is 10,000 feet just over, about 3,000 meters. And from there, there's like a restaurant and a viewing platform. But then there is a walk that is open during the winter. And there's like ski runs as well. So you'll probably see some skiers up there at this time of year. I think it's about 45 minutes and uh, we're going to enjoy the views. So peaceful up here, isn't it? Look at those, um, I suppose you could call them crevasses of sorts where it's got a sink. Oh, yeah. Those. Pretty, aren't they? Right, we've just got off. Well, we took the train from Gornagrat. Thanks for throwing a snowball at me. We took the train from Gornagrat down to the next stop, which was Riffle. Was it Riffleberg? Yes. So you got off um, the first stop on the way down at Riffleberg, and um, because there's a walk, and it's okay during the winter, to go to the next stop down again, which is Rifflesey. Oh, I'm sorry if I get this all wrong. I got a map. I have to correct myself. Is he going to try to throw a snowball at me? And so this is the walk path. And there's the Matterhorn. So it goes round to the next stop, and then we can get on the train to go all the way down. Steep bit. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Come on then, running skid. I think they're in their element. Big winter playground. <laughs> oh, I came off it. <laughs> That's the station we're walking down to. 
So it's a really well clear mark, mark, clear marked out path, even in the winter.